Well, a cold case from 1985 is finally getting some closure. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is piecing together the identity of a man who died decades ago, and it's all thanks to new technology. Today, ABC Action News reporter Lydia Vasquez got a first-hand look. I think one unidentified individual is too many. But inside the Hillsborough County Medical Examiner Office, there are 50 unidentified remains dating back to the 1970s. These are his personal effects that belonged to the individual back in 1982. Forensic professionals are elbows deep using fingerprints, dental x-rays and facial reconstruction to help crack some of the cases gone cold. If none of those really hit any sort of successes, then unfortunately they just sit there. This is the case in a 1985 death where a Hillsborough County man remained unidentified. That was until this past January where investigators are sparking new hope, all thanks to forensic genetic genealogy. This happens when you take your DNA profile from websites like Ancestry or 23andMe and submit it to either of the two major databases, GEDmatch or Family Tree DNA. With this uh, genetic genealogy, we can pinpoint through distant relatives and build up family trees to then specify we know that this person belongs to this family line and then specifically pointing out where in this family line this person may belong. Investigators tell me this technology is another tool and they hope it will help put a dent in the dozens of unsolved cases. If we didn't have this technology, our cases could be unidentified indefinitely. Forensic professionals say you can decide what information you want investigators to have access to from your DNA profile, adding it's helping bring closure to families and even solve violent crimes. It's extremely fulfilling just to know that all this effort and training and resources that we've put into it is providing answers to these family members that may have had this ambiguous grief for so many years not knowing what has happened to their loved one. And it also just shows so much respect to these remains. They're not just people sitting in a morgue. They are, they were living human beings. In Hillsborough County, I'm Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News.